What is going on, lunatics? If there's one thing that built the Terra Luna old system, it was... I'm going to put a pin in that because I'm about to show you that there's a relaunch happening right now. This is the big relaunch that you were looking for. It's not the repeg. That's a piece or a component, if you will, for reducing the supply at this point and stabilizing some price action. There's, there's more to it, but there's one foundational element that did not exist that it's going to exist pretty soon. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. And before we kick it off, don't forget, it's very, very important. Hey guys, have you ever wanted to win money? Have you ever wanted to win more crypto? Well, now you can. Terra Casino, one of the sponsors of this channel, allows you to do some risk-based gaming using Luna Classic, Luna Tokens, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygon, USDC, USDT, and Dogecoin. If you're a big holder, this is the place that you want to go for your risk-based gaming. Uh, you like the NFL? Do you like the NBA? Do you like sports in general? Do you like hockey? Well, you can do some risk-based gaming in a sports betting parlor. What about PvP poker? Do you like that? Because that's how you get PvP poker. Uh, and that's how you get big yields and wins. Or maybe you just want to do some risk-based gaming on Bitcoin. If you do, go check out Terra Casino. Also, number six overall is one of the largest burners of the Terra Luna Classic ecosystem that exists out here. Also, high on that list, TerraPort.Finance. If you want to trade meme coins like Rackoff or like Tutankhamen or like Food or Lunk Pepe or Roddy or any one of these uh, crypto tokens, then there's two places you can go. Coin Hall, yeah. Or terraport.finance. Yeah, that's the one you want to go to. So check them out today. Sometimes Believes just wants to do stuff, so I just got to let him do it, okay? Anyway, let's kick it off here. So in the news today, 18 billion lunk burning from supply. Now, will this happen? This is a proposal to burn 18 billion lunk and 68 million USTC after the approval. So let's dig into this just a little bit. Uh, the community takes out uh, 12 billion in lunk and 68 million USTC from circulation, the second largest removal from the circulating supply after the recent 7 billion lunk burn. The massive 12 billion lunk will be burned from Anchor B Luna Rewards and Lido Rewards dispatcher contract as per proposal. Also, the changes are now live on the coin market cap and coin gecko since the contract owner has invalidated itself the terra luna classic community now owns the contract these funds are locked since lido passed a proposal on june 22nd 2022 to make all lido contracts on terra luna classic non-upgradable and make their ownership invalid the government's voting on the proposed burn to begin soon to get the community's approval on burning these funds terra luna classic developers also removed uh, other lunk and ustc from circulation that will be burned over time the community approved 93 million lunk and 87 million ustc in the terra shuttle bridge contract from the circulating supply so uh, a little bit more burns happening now uh, we just got an update speaking of burns and we got breaking uh, Binance burned 1.7 billion lunk for their monthly burn thank you Binance and Richard Tang for supporting the Luna now where have I seen this before by the way and I'm not trying to start a con controversy for you but uh, at 742 this was posted by the moon Haley Haley Lunk, who posts news constantly uh, but at 6 26 uh uh mr diamond hands posted the same thing until it stops right there and it's the same picture by the way here only one other little picture is added but it's the exact same thing look back and forth it's the same thing it's the same it's the same it's the same thing is 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 mr diamond hands Haley lunk no somebody probably took it Haley lunk whoever that person is probably just took the post and, and did it but no nonetheless 1.7 billion have been burned now it hasn't been updated on lunk burn tracker because you know it takes 24 hours before that kicks in but another look we were I was talking 1.1 1.3 uh, billion so 1.7 billion a little bit more than what I said would what would be the expectation could be because of the increased volume going around because of all the buying and selling uh, and the transfer from from BDC Turk. So, you know, uh, just a, 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 another significant amount of burn. Uh, we still have a long way to go. Now, um, we still, we're still going to have to have some clarity here on the burns that are going to be available for um, all of the different wallets that are out there for especially USTC. You know, things are starting to manifest. We'll start to see those burns hit pretty soon. Now, 
Uh, I'm going to be interested here because let's go over here and check the price action real quick. So just kind of in this range. And as you guys see here, uh, you know, I gave you this line broke a tiny bit below that line, caught back up, bounced off of it as support, started to break out. The market started to correct to the downside overnight, but we were having that little bit of a breakout uh, leading into last night uh, because it is the beginning of July. And this is, you know, maybe a time where people were selling out for the end of the quarter and now it's time to maybe start aping back in based on the information that's coming out. Will Ethereum continue to pump with the ETF? Are we gonna get notified? You know, there's a lot of things. Uh, the market's waiting like a powder keg, ready for this explosive sort of move. So we're just kind of patiently waiting for it. Two Solana ETFs have been filed. So you should be bullish right now, but this, you know, kind of an accumulation period here. Now, um, this is, not what you want to see. I know you guys want to see upward momentum, and I assure you, upward momentum is coming. Well, let's go look at some some other price stuff here. Uh, down, uh, this was down. This is up 28% on the day, but look at this. This was down so far, uh, down to 16 million uh, today, which is up 28%. So you know, there's a there's a lot of um, there's a lot of not trading happening right now uh, over here on USTC, down to six million. So, you know, the stress of everything is kind of weighing on some of this price action. And it's down to 1791, uh, even though it's up 1.58%. You know, we've seen just some some real bearing down, if you will, on the price action. And uh, it's profit taking, basically. You know, these are these are traders that are doing trading. And look, there's a big move coming. I assure you, there is a big move coming. And the reason that I'm bullish on that is, wait a minute. I can't show you yet. I'm going to show you in just a moment. So let's get back into it. Uh, Commonwealth doesn't really have anything that we need to talk about. Um, there's the vote for the Luna Classic Certic audit. Look, I don't have any respect for Certic at this point uh, since they secretly stole $3 million from Kraken and then we're like, ha, 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 give us a reward and we'll give it back. That's pretty lame and pretty shady for any company. Now, they gave the money back, by the way. I don't want to say that they didn't get them, but they, they, they stole $3 million dollars. Kraken was like, what the fuck is going on here? And Certic did not mention to them, did not tell them. To, you know, there was, there was nothing going on here where Certic would have any reason to have taken it. And then, of course, you know, it, it, then it took like 48 hours for them to give it back. So very tense sort of time. And I don't think that's a good look for Certic. So um, I, I'm, I'm not really, you know, I don't think that's a, I don't think that was a really good move on their behalf. But, you know, you might think differently and that's okay. Uh, yeah, maybe it was just a, an example of how easy it was to, to break into Kraken, I, you know. I don't know what the purpose is there, but I certainly did not like to see the result. Also, still working on the alliance module. Nothing up for proposal at this point. No governance proposals out here. Uh, Lunk Dash, no proposal. So you know, we really don't have anything going on other than just some some waiting for you know the next big move, whatever that next big move might be. So uh, let's talk about our, our closing piece right now. And that closing piece is Rakoff. The Rackoff token. And why is it important? Well, so um, this was Friday, uh, June 29. Was that Saturday? Saturday. Uh, anyway, uh, it says Rackoff Protocol 9 does WIP. Thanks to these people for joining Lunk Lover and our Hail Mary, supporting us by staking at Rung official trading and liquidity provided by Terraport. Now, what is this all about? Well, this is a recap of Protocol X. Uh, it says Rackoff's Protocol IX. What's going to be Protocol 9 or Protocol 10? I don't know. Um, Captain America was protocol one. Wolverine was protocol 10. I get it. I count. Uh, we'll be lending borrowing protocol where you can deposit and lock up your lunk, rack off and other whitelisted stable coins and lend or borrow assets. Guys, this is, this is anchor protocol all over again. This is what I've been telling you guys. This is what pumped Luna the first time. This is what pumped Luna and Terra having a lending protocol that gave you a significant yield and, and a reward for staking and housing your stuff with a specific entity. In this case, the Anchor Protocol. In this one, it's going to be the Protocol X, Protocol 10, whatever you call it. Uh, it says the lending pool contract operates on a dynamic interest model that balances the lending pool, not fixed as in the former Anchor Protocol. Uh, Rackoff will be the protocol's governance token. Some portion of the fees generated by the protocol 
will be distributed to the Rakoff Dow stakers, Lunk CP and OP, some reserved for liquidity bootstrapping and maybe some for delegators of Rakoff Lunk validators. Uh, staking Rakoff will give you rewards in other assets, not minted Rakoff, plus Dow voting rights locked up a big part of the supply, drive up TVL and therefore push the price. We might also see increased demand for Rakoff because holders want staking yields. Protocol X will feature a gateway smart contract, but it probably aimed to enable interoperability of Lunk chain with other Cosmos chain. Rakoff will be able to interact with multiple networks, or could it be a payment gateway? No idea, and we don't have any idea yet, but uh, there are four more undisclosed Protocol X features, and what could they be? And we really don't know at that point. We're waiting for some update. And by the way, there's going to be an interview with Rakoff Token on my channel this week. We're going to get you guys as informed as we possibly can about what is going on and how excited you should be. Now, I'm not their announcement channel, by the way. They do have uh, uh, Lunk Lover 69 that they're going to, you know, that's that's where they, or Luna Lover 69, that the announcements come through. But we're going to talk, we're going to ask some questions, and we're going to see exactly what it is. That they can reveal this week but guys you should be incredibly bullish on Rakoff right now and uh not not for nothing if you remember we had a conversation about it and i told you you know i would expect kind of a, a retracement back down here but this has not dipped since we talked about it and we talked about that over here and we've gone day after day after day of talking about or mentioning or, or lightly or loosely mentioning Rakoff, just kind of saying hey you know th this thing might be primed for an uh, yeah, an explosive move or a rip down and then a bounce off of this and you know look when when you hold up very well like it's doing right now then you are sending a message that the number of holders at this level are probably willing to hold a floor so uh, and this is a nice little range to be in so um, I, i'm super excited to see what they're doing and we're going to have that interview with you guys in the next couple of days so you'll be able to for yourself kind of figure out like is this the move for me is this the investment for me um look if it's going to burn a little bit of the rack off supply if it Folks, if crypto goes up, you need more crypto. If crypto goes sideways, you need more crypto. If crypto goes down, you need even more crypto. What better place to do it than Cryptonomy.finance? Remember, Cryptonomy is a hedge against whatever might befall this economy and this market. So let's check it out. Since the last time we talked, 2.3x return, 2.95x return, 2.37x return, 1.4x return, 1.59x return. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to take my XRP. I've got 12,800 XRP. I'm gonna max that out. I'm gonna stake this for uh, nine months here. 71.8% yield return. That's gonna give me an estimated amount, 9,208 more XRP. Don't you want more XRP? Now that I've done that, I'm gonna go back over here to the launch pool. I'm gonna throw in about half a Bitcoin. Again, I'm gonna be in the bronze level. I'll put 0.43 in. That's a good risk for me and a good return for me. Folks, it doesn't get any simpler than this. If you are looking for more crypto, stake it. That's what everybody tells you, right? So do that and you should be fine. But I'm not a financial advisor. If you want financial advice, go to the research section of cryptonomy.finance and they'll tell you what you need to know. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. It's going to be the governance by which the Anchor Protocol, the new the Protocol 10, Protocol X is going to run. If it's, if it's all of these things, then... I got to think that there's some significant value in this proposition right here. It's up, by the way, 35% in the last seven days. And guys, I can't stress enough that it's not about right now. It's about being able to uh, get some of these tokens, get them staked with the um, the inner workings of that Rackoff project, and then earning yield off of it uh, in terms of other tokens, in terms of um, APV, whatever it is that you're going to earn, have some rack off tokens. I think it's kind of important. Um, I'm not a financial advisor, though. I'm not qualified to tell you what you should or should not have. Uh, my job really is to give you, I'm hype. You know, when I look at something, and I see something and it kind of excites me. And by the way, this is a speculative excitement. You have to agree with what I'm telling you for this to be any sort of thing that you would test. In order for you to do that, you're going to have to do your own research. You're going to have to read their white paper. You're going to have to look at their website. You're going to have to go check them out on Twitter and see if you like what it is that you see. And if you do, then that maybe that becomes the investment for you. 
So that's a decision that you're going to have to make. Now, if you do make that decision, know that it's probably a long-term hodl for you. What you should, or at least in my opinion, what you should do is grab a bag, get ready to stake it so that you're locked in and that you're earning off of your rack off. And let's, let's face it, at a, at a you know fair dollar value right now, it's, let's, it's 6 million market cap. What if it goes up to 60 million market cap? And it just 10Xs. Well, then your tiny $1,000 investment is now $10,000. So basically, you're staking $10,000 worth of rack off uh, in the Anchor Protocol, Protocol X, that's earning yield for you and helping to revive the Luna Classic machine, if you will. So I think this is a moment where you know, it's time to get bullish, but it's not time, you know, maybe we're not going to explode. Maybe the price explosion is not going to be there because you still have to have people coming back. You still have to have retail coming in saying, wait, I can borrow. Wait, I can do okay. You know what I mean? So you, you still got the pieces that have to be put into place. So you've still got the uh, the build up, then you've got the execution, all of the pieces that are needing to be in place. They're not in place yet, but they will be in place. And when they are, this thing might just have uh, an explosive, explosive, explosive move. But that's me estimating. It's on you to do your own research and figure that out for yourself. So check it out. Uh, it's, it's dollar sign. It's the cash tag Rakoff, R-A-K-O-F-F. Make sure you go check that out. Um, and remember, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for taking the time. And check out Rakoff and Terra Casino. What's wrong with you? Terra Finance. What's wrong with you? Go do it. We'll talk to you again soon.